All right, so we've gotten that far. We now know light behaves as a particle and a wave. There's this thing called the photon, and it's an interaction that comes from the movement of the electron. All right, so we've become quite complex. Okay, in comes Robert Millikan in 1909. So these 10 years from 1900 to 1910 are unbelievably important in what we learn about the electron. Um, and uh, since then, it's been quite different. I mean, we've learned a lot, but I want you to think, in 10 years, we learned a just unbelievable amount. Um, and then right about 1910, the TV came out, and we haven't learned much since. Uh, I don't know if there's a correlation there, but I'm just kind of guessing. Um, and just, I'm joking, the TV came out later. But moving on, uh, Robert Millikan in 1909, he calculated the charge. on the electron in his oil drop experiment. All right, now, we already knew it was minus. That's like, oh, really, duh, you got a name for this? But no, he found the actual numerical value of the charge on one solitary electron. This guy was crazy smart. All right, so just go with me here, and then we'll try and explain, I will try and explain what on earth he was doing. Okay, so first off, electrons were transferred from the atomizer, that's this device, okay? Atomizer just means it turns something into a fine mist. All right, we're transferred from the atomizer to the, oh, hold on, I think that's droplets, I gotta read this. Yeah, it's to the oil droplets, or just write droplets is fine. All right, the negatively charged particles fell through a vacuum under the influence of gravity. Millikan adjusted the voltage on the plates to offset the pull of gravity. He found that each droplet had a different charge, but all the charges were a multiple of one small charge. He assumed that small charge to be the charge of one electron. All right, now let's just go here. It chopped off the bottom of the picture, but that's okay. There was a plate here, and it was negatively charged. Um, that's right. Okay, and then this battery that gave us a source of electron or to cause it to be charged. Okay, so here we go. He would take this thing called the atomizer. It would make really, really, really fine drops of oil. Okay, They would fall through these holes on this electrical plate and become charged. All right, So now we have this negatively charged particle falling down um, due to gravity. Now, we remember from Coulomb, that's why we talked about him, because that idea of likes repel and opposites attract is huge. All right, so this guy knew it. Millikan was smart. He knew that this droplet that was falling down, it, as it got closer to the negative plate, it would start to be pushed upwards, all right, because they repel. He was able to adjust the amount that the positive side was pulling up um, and the negative side was pushing down and get these droplets to just suspend in the air. Now, right here, he was looking through this little magnify or telescope thing. This is his eyeball. All right, He looked through and observed the size of these and was able to estimate their mass because of their size, All right, because he, he knew the density of oil. So he estimated their mass, and he was able to tell the amount of charge that he had to apply to offset their mass. Okay, now each time this was a different number. All right, so he had like, I'm sure, hundreds of values. But he found it would be like if they were all like 2, 20, 18, 36, and what, 12. Okay, let's say he found all of these numbers uh, for these charges. That was sort of meaningless, except for the fact that all of them could be divided by 2. 